Greetings YouTube, Bobby from Buff with part two on my Groot build tutorial. Uh, this is the part about the stilts. I would like to start off by saying that I have a disclaimer. I have above average balance and this technique will not work for everyone. Here you have a look at the supplies I started with, uh, some 2x4s, or excuse me, 2x3s and uh, some 2.5 inch screws. Uh, I traced out onto the the uh, wood, I sort of cut it and got an idea of how I wanted to shape it and you'll see here in this next one uh, it turned out just like that. Um, so I made four of those basically, uh, two for each leg and then I used an old pair of work boots and uh, the problem with these boots I wanted to repurpose them is that the tongue would slide down when you slide them on. So I used a marker and marked where I would like to put holes and then I used a soldering iron and I burned holes right through the leather with the soldering iron and then strung the laces right through the tongue. So now the, the tongue is laced right through uh, to the side of the boot and it can't slide down inside. Then I took the boots and I traced the soles onto an old piece of scrap wood and then attached those uh, shapes of the soles to the other, to the uh, framework of the stilts. Um, these stilts weigh 10.2 pounds each so it's very challenging to wear as a costume. Uh, here you can see how I uh, added more strength to the boots. This is a one inch nylon webbing. I burn the ends so that they do not fray. Uh, this is inside the costume and there's no way to get in there to really repair it now that it's all assembled. So you're going to want to take these steps to prevent it from uh, from fraying. And same thing with the soldering iron, burn a hole through the nylon webbing to add the screw. And then uh, here's a look at me testing it out. I got into the stilts for the first time. The, uh, initially the stilts were taller uh, on the leg support side, but it was rubbing into my leg and I didn't like that. So eventually you'll see in a couple photos here, I, I cut uh, that part off. So they're a little bit shorter than that. Um, but that is uh, where my feet are in relation inside the costume. And then finally I needed to add some tread to the bottom to give me some grip. So on the very bottom when I was all finished with the costume, I added glue and then a layer of glue and then a layer of sand. And then when that dried, I added um, Plasti Dip to the bottom to give it sort of like a grippy uh, bottom to it. So, Alright, hope that helps. More videos coming up. Thanks for watching.